Hello boys and girls and you're very welcome to our messy church. I thought by now we'd be able to do it in the church but we can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to record out here but just to make sure you know it's messy church I've got on my messy church t-shirt, got my messy church stickers and I even have some messy church balloons but they keep blowing away. So We've got everything that we need for our messy church and it's lovely that you can be with us again today. So we're going to start off with a song like we always do. And our first song, if you follow the link, is Our God is a Great Big God. So could you pause this now and then could you follow the link now? Now, in that song, it said all about God's great big plan. And God had a real plan for the people on earth. And he has a plan for you as well. And we're going to hear more about that plan. So we kind of will learn all about God and Jesus like we normally do. Hello. you sing and um I, I take it you're not from round here okay where are you from okay he's from a different planet and what do you want to know why have you come here oh to find out all about earth well, you're very welcome. This is our messy church. Oh, you know about churches? Churches, let me see what you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Churches are all about people coming together. But you don't know why they come together. Oh, yeah. Well, there actually aren't any people here because we can't do our messy church with all the boys and girls here. Well, yeah, it is still church, but the boys and girls are all at home and they're gonna be watching this. See out that camera? That's where all the boys and girls are. Do you wanna shake your head and say hello? Okay. So this is our messy church and we learn all about God and Jesus. Right, you know who God is, but you don't know who Jesus is. Well, I'm going to tell you a wee bit more about Jesus today. And actually, over the next few months, we're going to learn a wee bit more about Jesus. And even as an adult, I'm learning about Jesus all the time. Right, you can't, maybe can't come the next time. Well, you see, if you can't come the next time, that's why we're recording. You see, you can't see them, but they can see you. Yeah, I have got Messy Church on my t-shirt. Would you like a sticker? And then you could be part of Messy Church. Let's see if one of my stickers will come up. There we are. So you've got a Messy Church sticker. So you can listen and learn all about Jesus. And if you have any questions, just ask me. It's okay. The boys and girls won't mind because I think they might have the same sort of questions. So I'm going to tell you all about Jesus. Well, a bit about Jesus. We're going to learn one of the things about Jesus that people know. Yep, we're going to talk about God too because we're talking about God's great big plan. You see, God created the earth and he was very happy. But then people started doing things wrong. Oh, lots of things wrong. Lots of things wrong. You would never do anything wrong, would you? No, you wouldn't do anything wrong. So, but they did lots of things wrong. And he had to have a plan to save all those people, to stop them doing things wrong and to follow him. And his plan was to send Jesus to earth. Jesus was God's son. But you see, when he sent him to earth, Jesus didn't come as a big grown man. He came as a little baby. And yeah, as a wee tiny baby. And he had a mummy and daddy on earth. Yeah, it is a wee bit confusing, isn't it? He had a mummy and daddy on earth, 
but he was God's son. But he grew up like all the boys and girls that we're talking about. Yeah, all those boys and girls, he grew up like them. And he went to school and they've only just started back to school. Yes, there's been this sort of virus. So we've all had to, yeah, that's why people are washing their hands all the time. Yeah, but they're not, yes, I know sometimes our hands don't look dirty, but the, the germs of the virus we can't see. So they're having to wash their hands, even though we can't see the germs of the virus. And sometimes they use hand sanitizer. I know we've been using a lot of hand sanitizer. So anyway, back to what I was going to tell you. So Jesus came to earth and he grew up. But God sent a messenger to tell Jesus that people was coming. Well, he couldn't use mobile phones and tele television and computers because there weren't any. None at all. So he sent a man and the man's name was John the Baptist. Now, he was called John. Yeah, can you see him? He was called John. And John, well, he was a bit, how do I put this politely? So we a bit strange. God had given him a job to do. And he lived in the desert because he wanted to live really simply so he could hear God. So he lived in the desert and he ate, are you ready for it? Locusts. Locusts are like big crunchy grasshoppers. Yeah, the, the wood wiggle a bit, um, I'm sure, as, they, as you eat them. But he also ate honey. I reckon that took the taste away of the locusts. But he lived in the desert, but he was telling people all about God's plan and who he was going to send. Yeah, and people listened to him. And what's more, he asked people to turn themselves around and to follow the way God wanted them to behave. Yep, to stop doing the wrong things. So, yeah, you see, it's a bit like you can't always see the wrong things people do, but they know that they weren't following God's will. So what John did was he asked them to follow God and then to show that they had followed God, they'd followed God, he baptized them. Well, there's really a river here, but we don't have the river. Okay, so there's a river. Do you know you're very clever, Zing? Yeah, it is a bit like us washing our hands. Because when we said about the coronavirus, we can't see the virus in our hands, can we? But we still have to wash them just to make sure. So yeah, sometimes you can't see the wrong things that you do. So it's a bit like getting washed. Yeah, it is. So he baptised people. And people were saying to him, are you the person that God's sending? Yeah, I don't, yes. Probably they wouldn't have sent somebody who liked to live in the desert and, and, and eat locusts and honey. But he still had that job for John to do. But John needed to tell people that Jesus was coming. So John was baptizing people in a river. It's a river called Jordan. And it's still there today. And you can see it if you ever go to Israel. Yeah, and some people have been there. So, he was baptizing people in the river and one day along came Jesus and John knew that this was Jesus. Yeah, he just looks like an ordinary man. I'm sorry, you're having to look at this upside down, but he just looks like an ordinary man. Yeah. Yep, he looks like an ordinary man. So, but John knew he was the person that God wanted him to baptise. But he didn't want to baptise Jesus. Why? Well, see, Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Jesus was good. So he really didn't need that baptism. And he didn't need to turn to God because he knew all about God. 
So he didn't have any bad things, but he still said, John, you have to baptize me because God wants you to. So I've got another picture. Do you want me to? Oh, there we are. So John, and all my pictures are going to blow away and that's gone all wonky. So let's try. There we are. So John baptized Jesus and then something happened. Yeah, something amazing. The heavens opened and the light shone through and a dove came down and the dove was the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and we'll learn something more about the Holy Spirit. But out of the heavens, there came a big voice and the big voice was God's voice. And the voice said, yeah, this is my son. I love him very much and I am very pleased with him and I want you to listen to him. No, not just you, all the people to listen to him. But could you imagine if you were the people there and suddenly the heavens opened and the light shone down and it came right down on Jesus's head. And from then on, everybody knew that Jesus was the one who God had sent to help them because of all the wrong things they'd done. And they also knew the most important thing. Bet you can't tell me what the most important thing is. What's the most important thing? <gasps> yeah, the most important thing is that Jesus is the Son of God. So that is our most important thing. So you've learned a bit about God today. You've been at Messy Church and you've learned about John. Yeah, I know what we, we, we talked about. He was a wee bit strange, but he had his job to do. And now we have found out Jesus is the Son of God. And this was right at the beginning before Jesus started doing things on earth. But he had been baptised. Heavens opened. God said how much he loved Jesus. And you know something we're gonna find out in the other days that God loves all of us so much. He loves us so, so much. So that we can find out more about Jesus to find out just how much God loves us. Yeah. And if you can't come, you can watch it when we record it. Now in Messy Church, we always say a prayer and I have forgotten to get my prayer thing out. So let's see. My okay, so there's my hand there. Can you see it? Well, when we do prayers in Messy Church, we always do something with our prayers. So I have decided I cheated a wee bit because I already had a little cut out. But I want the boys and girls to draw around their hands and this is going to be a prayers about their family because we have just learned, out, learned that Jesus was the son of God. So God was Jesus's daddy. And it's good to play, pray for our families because look what I've got at the bottom. It says God. And having the hand will help us to remember to pray to God for all the people in our families. So on mine, I have a mum and dad. I would have been praying for them. And then my brother is Stephen and my, his wife is Jilly and my nephew is Toby. So I am be praying for him. Yeah, you could, well, you don't have a hand, but you could, we could draw around a hand for you. Okay, so you could be praying for your mummy and daddy. That's right. And you've got a brother and a sister. Well, isn't that perfect? Because that would fit everybody in. And you could even then put you. You've got a pet. Well, you could put the pet instead of you. And the boys and girls at home could put a pet if they want to. Because God loves all those people. And if you had your prayer in hand every night. All right. Praying's really just talking to God and asking things from God. 
So we're going to ask God to be with all the people in our family. And if you have that prayer in hand, you can remember to pray for all of those people every night. Would that be a good idea? Because we all need a bit of help. So we're going to pray now. I'm going to pray, but I'm going to pray for all my messy church family. Yep, those ones out there. I'm going to pray for all my messy church family. And then we're going to pray for our own family. So I can't say all the names of my family. So we're going to have to leave a wee space for everybody to pray for theirs. Is that a good idea? Yes. Okay. So let's pray to God. We go we go quiet and we close our eyes just so we can concentrate. Okay. Dear God, thank you that we can have messy church, even when we can't meet together. And I want to thank you for my messy church family, all the boys and girls who are watching at home with their mummies and daddies and grannies and grandpas and their brothers and sisters, and yes, their pets as well. And Lord, we thank you for all of them. And I do pray that all of them would come to know you a bit better through our messy church talks and through the songs and through the crafts that we do. Father, we're going to pray now to you for our families. We thank you for our mummies and our daddies. We thank you for our brothers and sisters and we say their names to you now. And for our pets and for our grannies and grandas and for other people in our family and we're going to be quiet and we're going to say their names to you now. And we pray that you would be with them and you know if they're going through anything difficult. We pray you'd be with them in that. And we thank you that you are with us all the, all the time and that you are with them all the time. Thank you, God. Amen. Yes, yeah, saying I think it's very good that we know somebody else is looking after our families apart from us. And it really is good that God, yep, God's in heaven, but God's everywhere, that God will look after our families too. And I think that's brilliant. Now we're going to finish off this bit, but the boys and girls can click on some links and there's a link to make a craft that can show the baptism of Jesus that we've done. And there's a link to make a dove. And there's a link Maybe to make a locust that John at. Yeah, that'll be a fun one to do. And there might be some other things, but those are the main things that we're going to have links to. So you see, when you stop this, you can look and, and press on the links and then you'll be able to do the crafts as well. Oh, we love doing messy, uh, crafts and messy church. That's part of the fun of it. So we can't do them here, so we're going to do them at home. So the boys and girls now are going to finish and we're, they're going to sing Nothing's Too Big. We love this song in Messy Church. And again, it's a song that tells us all about God's love for us, for you, for all the boys and girls, for everyone. It tells us all about that. So you could sing that too. You don't know the words. Well, the words will come up on the screen and there are actions as well. Okay. So for now, do you want to say goodbye to the boys and girls at home? Okay, so that's goodbye from Singh and it's goodbye from me. And I hope to see you again next month. Bye.